Oh, they have a beastly drone friend. I mean, the person looks efficient too. They look promising. Occupation? Check. Drone? Check. This could be the one. You look about as sick of this shit as I am. Oh, you are dead, Sec. Good. I need help with something. We might be able to help. What's the situation? I got in some money trouble with Clan Kelly. Now they have me working off what I owe them. Only the debt is getting bigger, not smaller. If you can help me settle that, I'd appreciate it. Okay. We'll handle it. Clan Kelly will bleed our new friend dry if we don't do something. This particular construction site is a money laundering front for a Kelly chapter out of Camden Market. Any record of the debt would be stored there. Grand. Don't have the right tool for the job? You can exchange your gadget for a different one that's better suited to the situation. Fucking hell, the Kellys have moved in here full time. There goes a blade in neighborhood. When did they get this organized? You're looking for a terminal or some kind of device that Clank Kelly would have stored the debt records on. While the drones observing your every move might make you feel like you're living in a city shaped prison, what's bad news for society is good news for DedSec. You can hack those nosy little buggers and use them to scout ahead. all record of that debt, putting our new friend back into the black and, more importantly, out of Clan Kelly's reach. Fantastic. Cannabis and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics. I mean, I'll try anything once, twice if I like it, but now's not the time.
Clear. I'll keep looking. Area clear. Shit. Moving on. on. Around, asshole. All good. Moving Transfer on. complete. Moving on. No one here. Moving on. Not here. I'm Checking another area. Here. What's next? <laughs> You're out from under Clan Kelly's hill. Wouldn't show him my face if we was you. But that goes without saying. Really? That is a relief. I'm glad to see the rumors about DedSec are wrong. You are good people. You know, DedSec's looking for fighters. And you seem to have some fight in you. How about letting it out? Yes. I think we'll make a formidable team. Dead Sec resurgence have prompted Parliament to approve the use of lethal force for Albion contractors. CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Dead Sec terrorists will quickly find that Albion, unlike the police force of this city, is battle-tested and proven in the field. The Prime Minister's office has called this shoot-to-kill mandate a drastic but necessary... No time for doubts. Yeah, you're no kid. This is a big decision. Once I join DedSec, I can't have a normal life anymore. What do you mean, normal? The bleeding government announcing they can shoot you dead. I know things are bad, and I want to do something to help. I just don't know if I can walk away from my life. No one's leaving anything behind. We're taking a stand to help everyone we care about. <sighs> Right. Okay. I'm ready. Welcome to the Resistance. Right. Welcome aboard, etc., etc. I'll give you the speech later. Right now, we need you and your big, strong drone friend to get on top of SRS HQ and steal a server. Think you can handle that? I'm on my way. I am here. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach, so you'll need to use a heavy cargo drone to steal it.
I've loaded the server into your vehicle. You can go now. Careful on the road. We don't want to damage the server. Still can't believe I let a fucking computer talk me into this. Cheers, mate. CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. This is brilliant. Look at this. It's compiling data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic. coming from this Spiderbot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Something's completely mangled it. Christ, what's it doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Relays to go. Moving on. 
regroup. Find the prick. That should do it. Now I'll just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Grant. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? What? I think we'd go back here. Don't cuff the Kelly dog. Is that how it's done then? Kelly? Wait, is in Clan Kelly? You're telling me those gangster folks had something to do with all of this? Seems to me like they supplied the explosives. They were making a delivery. So, who was it they were meeting? It didn't seem close. Maybe zero day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you work out who was running that spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. So, the police watched it all happen. Interesting. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. We don't have some kind of quantum tunneling device in a shed somewhere, do we? Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good idea. those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. Grant! RDX nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero day. Damn, hurry. We've got all the deliveries. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Shut it. We're all on need to know. Fuck me. So Zero Day was using a bunch of groups to pull off the bombings? That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. So the police were onto the real bombers, but they kept their mouth shut for some reason. Doesn't that up? We don't have all the facts yet. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Christ! Albion's taking this place over like a fucking parasite. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. Didn't think I could feel bad for an English police, but fucking hell. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the spider bot will be further in. Ah. 
Bagley, is this a spoiler bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you ID the last user? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I'm on it. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. A few moments later Buggery fuck, you look at all this junk! You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening Six and a half hours later. decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly some corporation could clean up our streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? So don't tell me Albion has our best interests at heart. It's the police could handle their job, Albion wouldn't be necessary. But they can't. Home bombing is a perfect example. Bunch of lazy owners. through this last bent path. None of your business. Let's fucking do this.
Got it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. A secret location? None of this makes sense. We better go check it out. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. The GPS history of the Spiderbot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's remote. Good place to fly under the radar. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Now to find a way in. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Spread out and find the bastard! Go on, spread out and search. Well, tiddle me bollocks. It's like a wee little cop station here. What's it down, I wonder? Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Sure, I'm with you. But what were they working on that would lead them to the town bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Ah, this is all starting to come together. I knew Albion were grade-A cunts, but working with Clan Kelly gives them something to hide. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. They're taking people off the streets. Zero day or not, we have to do something. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Emergent calls, possible hostile at your location. Control, send emergency vehicles when available. I'm in pursuit of the target. Saved. 
Returning to HQ, over. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London-born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Shit. Well, good news it is. Deportees aren't leaving the UK. They just chuck them in the EPC and then they look the other way. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace!